Great good morning officers. I Sumit Kumar Singh present in front of you with a new video related to a current affair topics and the title of this video and this topic is Mission Karma Yogi recently launched by the Union Government or Government of India. So today in this video we will look the detailed or in a point wise, in a serial wise that what is Mission Karmi Yogi, what its significance and why it is going to implement, what's its effect. So let's start. Mission Karma Yogi. It's a NPCSCB. It is a national, N for national, P for program, C for civil, S for services. C for capacity and V for building. So it is a mission Karmi Yogi is a national program for civil services capacity building. Now it's a new architecture. NPC SB SCB or uh, you can say that mission Karmi Yogi is a new architecture and for comprehensive reform of the capacity building or a comprehensive reform of the capacity building at individual level, second institutional level and the third is process level. And the another point for the efficient public service, it's a architect for efficient public service and it's lead by the PM. PM Prime Minister of India um, uh, lead by um, PM lead public uh, human resources council PM over the chairman and a uh, lead public human resource councils second is the capacity building commission there were also a capacity building commission the third is wholly owned special purpose vehicle wholly owned special purpose vehicle and the fourth is the coordinate unit so it's come all under the mission karma yogi which is supervised by the prime minister of india now some are the core guiding principles what are the core guiding principles of mission karma yogi so let us see the first is the transition from rule based to rules based. Now the civil servant from a rule based, they have to now work with a rule based in the society. And it's also on online uh, uh, on site learning a process, share uh, training infrastructure and framework of roles, activities and competencies approaches. Now, the another point is undertake data analytics. So these are the some core guiding principles of mission Karma Yogi. Now, it strengthened. So which are the things which strengthened by the mission Karma Yogi? So behavioral, functional or dominion competencies. Now, IGOT Karmi Yogi platform. What is IGOT Karmi Yogi platform? So, I for integrated, G for government, O for online, and T for training. So, IGOT is also going to set up an integrated government online training under the Karmi Yogi platform. So, it is a platform for content and a digital e-learning material also available on this IGOT integrated government online training under the Karmi Yogi platform. Now what are its aim or goal? As we know that each and every schemes, each and every planning, each and every campaign has some goals, some specific visions. Uh, so what are its aim or goals? So this um, Karmi Yogi missions aim is to make civil servant more creative, more constructive, more imaginative and more innovative, proactive, professional, progressive, energetic, enabling, transparent 
and take in a world. So these are the aims or goal by which with the help of mission Karma Yogi each and everybody will achieve. So these are the many goals by help of the Karma Yogi there were a plan to achieve or the make civil servant constructive, imaginative, innovative, proactive, professional, progressive, energetic, enabling, transparent, and tech enabled to ensure efficient service delivery. To ensure efficient service delivery. So, today in this video, we will see what is Mission Karmi Yogi, its importance, its significance, its architecture, lead by the PM Modi, and mean aims, uh, its goal. So, I think uh, I summarize in front of you each and every topic related to Mission Karma Yogi. So, if you think and if you um, understand it, then uh, like my video and share as much as possible with your friends, as well as subscribe my channel Magar Putra. Thank you. Have a great day.